Welcome to the Royal Rumble. Hey, thanks to our sponsor, RTC OOSP Cola. Let's jump right into the Rumble, folks. It's going to be a wild one. Yes, that's right. It's me, Tom Angleberger, with my partner, Origami Darth Maul on a stick. And we are about to have the Royal Rumble. Now, why are we having a Royal Rumble? Here, let's see if we can pull up this little thing to explain it. Here's what the Sweet Sith team looks like so far. Twelve pieces of origami that have won other competitions. And now, four empty slots left. So these 12 won the normal wastebasket competition. Four empty slots to fill. How are we going to fill them? Well, what better way than a Royal Rumble? We're going to give everybody a second chance. Everybody who went into the trash can earlier is going to get a second chance to make it to the Sweet Sith team. Are you ready? Are you ready to rumble? Well, let's see what happens, folks. It's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. And it's going to be painful. A lot of origami is about to go into the trash can. But remember, folks, it's not a judgment on the origami. It's just random luck. Who goes in and who stays out? And the last four that stay out will fill these missing slots and be part of the Sweet Sith team. All right. Are you ready for it? Here we go right after a word from our sponsor. Oh, you know what? Let's just skip the sponsor. Let's just jump straight into it. Let's go, folks. All right, folks, here we are. Time for the Royal Rumble. It's me, Tom Angleberger, with Darth Maul over there on the other side. Let's find out who's going to be in this Royal Rumble, folks. It is one amazing lineup. I'm not sure if we've ever seen anything like this. Here we go. All right, there's Mushroom. There's <laughs> Spock, Yoda Best. Oh my gosh, they're coming too fast. I can't keep up. Oh, there was Judy Hopps, last year's winner. There's a Ginkle Doofles. There's the Malls. Oh my gosh, there's Link. Doctor, what's his name? Wolverine. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing. What a lineup. Incredible. Just imagine if all these characters were really having a battle. Who would you possibly think would win? Oh my gosh, hey, there's Fuzzy Ted and Stingray's Hera. Whisper, Link, the Butter Guys, Indiana Jones. Darth Maul here for his trying to get into his own contest. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's Han Solo. There's uh, Darth Maul again. What a lineup, folks. Have you ever seen anything like this? Who could possibly win? Well, when I hit this button, things are going to go crazy. And I have to tell you, a lot of them are going to go into the trash real fast. Sorry, folks. That's just the way it is. There can only be four survivors of this one, okay? So here we go. Are you ready? All right, there we go. All right, like I was warning you, some people are headed straight for the trash. I think Spock, maybe uh, Mace Windu, Darth Maul, even Baby Yoda looks in trouble there. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, straight into the trash. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. There goes Indiana Jones and company. Oh, oh there went Luke. Yoda bests. Oh, the winner of last year's Royal Rumble just went in the trash. Oh, my gosh. They went Gandalf. Oh, poor Gandalf. There goes Kid Flash. No, no. Oh, my gosh. Things are calming down. No, there goes Judy Hopps. This was her second chance. Two years. Two years Judy Hopps ruled Maul's March Madness, but it looks like this is the end. Let's see what happens. Oh, Judy Hopps. Goodbye. Oh, there went Fuzzy Ted or Fluffy Ted. They went Fluffy Ted. I don't believe it. Oh, man, what an ending. Oh, this is brutal. I hate saying goodbye to all this amazing origami. They went Han Foldo. Oh, dear. I hate saying goodbye. There goes Captain Phasma. Oh, dear. Oh, the Maul family really risking everything there with those rim bounces. Oh, my goodness. Things have slowed down. The carnage has slowed down. Thank goodness. Oh, there goes the Maul family again. Oh, man. It's messy. It is messy. Oh, no, there went uh, oh, the Knight of Wren. Oh, my goodness. Maul family still bouncing off the rim. There went Luke. Goodbye, Luke. Oh, man. Oh, let's just take a second if we could stop here. Oh, somebody just went while well, I was stopping it. I didn't see. Let's just take a look, see who's left here. Up, Starting up in the left-hand corner, we've got Wolverine. We've got the clone troopers. We've got, mm, can't quite see who that is underneath. I see um, Commander Wolf. I see the butter guys. 
Dr. Dufel Hopper, whatever that guy's name is. Noob is right over my head. Good strategy. This year, that has been the winning strategy for a lot of people. Up in the right-hand corner, BB-8, uh, Link, and the Mall family. After all those close calls, they're still going down there. Let's, uh, let's set them back in motion. There's what? About 10 of them left? We can only have four. Only four more slots left in the Sweet 16. Everybody... Oh, there with the clones. There with the clones. Dr. Dinkelhofer, very close. Oh, the mall still taking those crazy bounces off the rim. Oh, the butter guys. Oh, the butter guys seem to be safe. Oh, my. Oh, things just sped up. Things just sped up. Oh, there went somebody. I couldn't even see who it was. Somebody, somebody's out. Oh, Link, very close. I don't know how much longer Link can survive with those kind of crazy antics. Unbelievable. There goes the noob. Oh, man. Oh, there. who is that? We are down to one, two, three, four. We're down to eight. Half half the characters you see now are going to make it into the Sweet 15. The other half will join the rest in the trash can. Oh, it's brutal. I hate saying goodbye to all this great origami, folks. But here we go. Link. Oh, goodbye, Link. Dr. Dinkelhofer. Oh my gosh, I should have found out what his real name was before he exited for good. Oh man, that BB-8 is just zooming around like crazy. He looks like he's in a sort of a safety loop though. Well, I'll jiggle the physics so that... Oh, there went BB-8. We are down to just five. Commander Wolf, the Maul family, the Butter guys, Wolverine, and Mace Windu. The next one out is the last one out, and the other four will be going on to the Sweet 16. Let's see what happens. Oh, man. Oh, there goes Wolverine. Very close, but he bounced off the edge. The butter guys are gone. That means there's four left. Let's see if we can get them up here on the screen. They're, oh, wait, they just disappeared on me. Oh, no. No, come back. Oh, no. Come back. I missed them. They disappeared on me. Well, who do we have still up? We have Wolverine. Wolverine and the Maul family are still up. I'll find out who those other two are. <laughs> they went so fast, I, I missed them. I'll find out who the other two are, and I'll add them to the Sweet Sith team. Um, maybe we'll take a look at our word from our sponsor, and I'll be right back with the full Sweet Sith team. All right, here we go. Yes, it's R-T-C-O-O-S-P Cola. The cola that reminds you to comment on other Superfolders posts. Let's keep those waffle-tastics flowing, folks. Let's make sure everybody gets the support they deserve. You guys have been knocking it out of the park with the great origami lately. Just want to make sure everybody that does that gets the comments that they have coming to them. All right, folks. We've had a chance to look at the tape here. Webmaster Sam... Went back and got a look, and here's what he's got to show you. Here are the four that made it through the Royal Rumble. It was Jace411, Darth Zack B, Captain Thunderpants, and Stuki Origami. That's Darth Maul and Family, Wolverine, Mace Windu, and Commander Wolf. Pretty good stuff. In fact, great stuff. These are four great pieces of origami. It's, it's hard to believe they were chosen randomly. But, you know, almost the entire uh, squadron we had here for Maul's March Madness this year was exceptional. I think that if you look at it all in all, it was maybe our best year ever of Maul's March Madness, quality-wise. Just fantastic stuff. And I just hope that everybody understands that I really appreciate you entering. I had a lot of fun making this. I really appreciate you entering. I don't want anybody's feelings to get hurt or anybody to be upset if they lost. Remember, we weren't judging the origami. It was all randomly done. It wasn't a beauty contest or a popularity contest. It was just random numbers uh, deciding the fate of the origami. So we had to find some way to narrow it down from almost 50 entries to just 16. And... This is what we've got so far. Are you ready to see the Sweet Sith team? All right, here they are. Look at them, folks. Pretty incredible group of origami. They're going to be going head to head to head to head. I'm not sure exactly in how they're going to battle it out. 
We'll find out in the next episode. These Sith teen are going to fight it out to try to become the final force. And then the final force will fight it out to see who is the one champion of Maul's March Madness. And remember, that champion is going to have their origami on every page of Origami Yoda for an entire year. It's going to be amazing, folks. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll see you back here soon for the Sweet Sith Team, the Final Force, and the crowning of the champ. Until then, may the Force be with you always. We'll see you on the next episode of Maul's March Madness.